From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In an earlier episode, we explored how the human brain is not always the objective reporter we imagine it to be. Although most of us like to think we're rational, intelligent observers of the world around us, our track record proves otherwise. This may sound discouraging, but don't worry. If other people can hack your brain, that means you can too. Here's where it gets crazy. Whether through drugs, practice, or specific sets of actions, people across the world have figured out how to hack their brains, improving cognitive abilities and even changing their sleep cycles. Through a practice known as polyphasic sleep, some brain hackers attempt to trade one long sleeping period for a series of short naps, ultimately reducing their total amount of sleep. Over the centuries, geniuses like Nikola Tesla and Benjamin Franklin have allegedly hacked their sleep cycles, training their brains to immediately enter REM sleep during short naps. This system isn't perfect. Critics claim the body will always tend to combine sleep into one block of time and that polyphasic sleep has dangerous side effects. To some brain hackers, avoiding sleep isn't as important as hacking dreams. To this end, they've trained their brains to enter lucid dreaming, typically by tracking their dreams in a journal upon waking, using meditative techniques, and attempting to prime their waking experiences, making it more likely that certain images will manifest in their dreams. But you don't have to be asleep to hack your brain. Due to the Gansfeld effect, human brains deprived of sensory information will consistently amplify the random activity of neurons, essentially triggering hallucinations. This means that depriving yourself of external sensory stimuli will inspire your brain to provide its own entertainment. However, some brain hackers don't want trippy hallucinations. They want a better, faster brain, and they'll resort to drugs if necessary. Although Adderall has become an increasingly familiar product on college campuses, it's far from the only smart drug on the market. Arecept, Modafinil, and Vasopressin have each allegedly expanded the memory or learning ability of users. Yet they also carry their own slew of side effects, and it seems the learning pills advertised in science fiction are still a few years away. Yet one method of brain hacking consistently provides proven legal results. Practice. Sure, we've heard that practice makes perfect, but there's a great deal of truth to this cliché. Practicing specific sets of skills doesn't just make you familiar with a subject, it can literally change the physical makeup of your brain. In 2000, researcher Eleanor McGuire found that London cab drivers have a much larger hippocampus than the average person. These cab drivers are forced to memorize thousands of routes in an extraordinarily difficult test called the knowledge, and McGuire's research suggests that this extensive memorization physically alters the brains of cab drivers. Cabbies aren't the only example of neuroplasticity. Studies conducted on Buddhist monks have found that meditation also alters brain structure, and pianists experience changes in brain regions controlling their fingers. These are real-life examples of mind over matter. The mental exercises you perform frequently can drastically affect your brain's function over time, in good and bad ways. This means that every thought you have helps create the person you will be in the future, whether you're memorizing the sprawling streets of London or learning the stuff they don't want you to know. Stay tuned for part three of our series on the deceptive brain.